Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be the final of this grouping between Hoff and Agistil. Whoever wins this takes all the beans. Upper right hand corner, we have Hoff as the green Protoss, bottom left hand corner. We have Agistil as the pink Protoss. This is on Eclipse, two player map. And I'll be honest, I feel like between the two, I'm going to give the edge to Hoff. I'm wondering if he's going to opt to open. We'll see if he opens for that early Zealot pressure. It seems like when he's opened the Nexus, or the Forge Nexus, that has not been the superior build order for him, and he's had a little bit of trouble adjusting his build orders from there. Maybe being a little bit out of practice, maybe not being in the era of kind of the two hatch, three hatch uh, sort of play. Putting Pylon on the low ground near his natural expansion. Overlord wandering his way up. Interesting build from Agistol last round. I think what won him that match was the cancellation of Zergling Speed and the switch immediately into Lair Tech. Spawning pool on 9 once again. And I'm not... I'll have to look at my Zerg build orders again, but I still feel like that was a very early... And again. Extractor on 9. Okay, there's the Extractor trick. That was I expecting. Again, a little bit out of practice, but I feel like the uh, Extractor on 7 <clears throat> is out of that build order. I'll have to check online. I actually have a build order thing on GitHub, which I need to clean up quite a bit and actually get someone with some experience to comment on, but it's supposed to be up there so you can help memorize build orders or have a thing alongside to kind of look at your build orders. This is a gateway first opener for Hoff probe inside the base. Overlord spawning in. We will see whether we see a full grouping of Zerglings being produced off this. We do see the six Zerglings being produced once again. Probe trying to get what little damage he can. Two Zelts being produced right off the bat for Hoff. So a little bit more typical for the modern era. And Drone is going to try it. Wow, actually not getting disrupted by that probe whatsoever. And the six siblings produced, are they going to be able to catch that probe out of position? They're not even going to bother. They're going to go straight towards the main. That's going to force the zealot to stay at home base. And that second zealot going to actually might want to pull a probe or two off the line. Because it's going to be a little bit of time before that second zealot is in position. No, he's going to pop that forge to seal it. That'll do it too. Pop that forge on the front. Do that nice wall. The zealot should hold. Two zealots versus six siblings is a... Nice fight. Don't know the timings as far as everything on all of these maps. I'm learning. We're learning together. That's what's happening. Third Zealot being produced on the front. And this is, uh, and it looks like, yeah, now those probes can sit a bit more easy. We're blocking around just in case of a run by. And Agistol once again plopping down that third hatch very rapidly before even getting his gas. A little bit at risk, I almost feel like, in doing that. The Zerglings trying to take pot shots and need to be careful while well, they're doing that, that they don't end up allowing that Ling run by. Zelt's switching to hold position. Nexus now warping in. Let's see if he does a trade or if he just lets us stand. He is dropping a single cannon. Now the Zelt's engaging while Agistol wasn't quite paying attention, loses two Zerglings for it, and I think that's going to be free kills, basically. Because that, well, a little bit of base damage on that Zealot. It's the small victories that turn to larger victories. But here's the thing, when you go the that three hatch extractor, sometimes if the Protoss is really on top of it, they can get that anti-air up in a hurry, but there were three Zalts produced. Natural expansion is now producing for Agistol. He's still sitting on 13 drones. Overlord getting a little bit too far forward. Piling there in the front, and we do see that probe scout now moving out for Hoff. Assimilator up. Are we going to see the three probes transferred to gas? A little bit slow on that. Two. Looking for that third. Moving up and the cybernetic core being planted down. I think Agistol should, should be fine. He's already got that Hydralis Den. Mostly produced. I feel like Agistol's actually in a pretty good position here. He's got that three... He's got the three hatcheries well produced. Three results are still sitting on the front. He's moving more into that three hatchery play. Hoff does have that natural expansion, but it feels like that... Corsair should, or as Corsairs will be popped out, but the Hydralists will be there in plenty of time, and we'll see if Agistol goes for the contain at this stage. This is not exactly 973. A couple Zelts making their way across. There is a sunken colony 
But I don't think it's going to be in time. It's going to still be morphing in while these Zerglings are wandering around trying to take care of that probe in the main. Only four Zerglings to defend. These Zelts should be able to overwhelm this. Yeah, just now morphing in. He needs to produce more Zerglings or get some drones on the field. There are some more Zerglings rejoining this. You're going to get some probe kills or some drone kills. Re-engaging. Turning right back around. Some nice defense from Magistral thus far. Loses one drone right there. But that's three Zealots down. And for only a handful of Zerglings. Nice defense by Agistol. And he's produced more Zerglings in the interim. Hoff getting that Citadel of Dune. Again, skipping air tech. Getting a second assimilator, though. So maybe going for very quick DT or High Templar mid game. He will not pay for it because there is no Spire yet for Agistol. But playing very risky, because this is one of those stages where if you did not, and I'm almost wondering if we're going to see a switched. Maybe, okay, so he wandered in, he saw that there was, he'll be okay with this. He wandered in, he saw that there was no lair. He saw that this was just basically going to be base tech, so he knows he, he knew he could get away with this. That's what's happening here. Third cannon down. We do see a Templar Archives. I just still sees it, though. Yeah, and I think this is just going to be a bajillion high Templar. And Hoff is going to go for... A bunch of units, I think, on the ground, and try to move out with the DT or the High Templar to try to defend. He doesn't have much of a ground army, unfortunately. I think he's going to end up. He's at a lot of risk, honestly, I think, of getting boxed in. Because it only takes a handful of Hydralisks here. And then it's basically storm dodging from there. Three cannons on the front because Hoff was worried about a bust. Fourth cannon down. I think concerned a little bit about that sort of 973 timing, although this isn't. This wasn't really the 973. Uh, build overall, I don't think, from Agistol. More Hydralisks being produced. I think this is more just diving into the contain. He is going to be able to take out that front gate. Wait, let's see if he cancels that High Templar in time. That's a lot of gas to lose. It's a lot of gas to lose. Uh, is he going to cancel it? Loses it. Going to lose that forge as well. Three more gateways here in the background. Fourth gateway plopping down. Zelt leg speed warping in. He is going to be able to hold this. This isn't going to be a full bust. And Agistol, I take it back. Agistol moving in. Some zealots pouring their way across. Probes coming off the line. I still don't think this is enough, but we'll see. More cans being warped in, in here in the background. The zealots doing some damage. Four hydralisks still stand. The probes kind of beside themselves, and I take it back. I was wrong. This is enough to bust. More hydralisks moving forward. Wiping up. There just weren't enough zealots on the ground, and there's still no side storm. That's GG. That is GG. Yeah, Hydralisks get in. There just weren't... Yeah, GG. They ignore me. Ignore what I'm saying altogether. So with the Hydralisk bust on the follow-up, Huff faltering. And Agistol will advance to the round of four. Too many Hydras. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I will... I'm going to start, so for people on Twitch, I'm going to start uploading two games at a time to try to get into Chobo League space. And then ultimately what I want to do is move on to Season 12 of BSL and go from there. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for listening.